Hi, we're on back to Scrap with Andy's Workshop. Uh, sorry I haven't done one for a while. Um, I don't know where January's gone, it's just flown by, hasn't it? That has. Blimey. Because um, I've been uh, decorating kitchen and diner up and everything, and then I have uh, daughters uh, having a baby in the next week, so I've been looking forward to that as well, and uh, another grandchild coming along, so. Uh, Yes, it's been a uh, busy January, <laughs> it has, so um, just a quick video this is, uh, I've been buying, um, well I brought two more new tools um, off uh, Gumtree uh, near me, uh, the first one is a, uh, oh, we got it out. It's that, so you do, ta it's a tapering jig for the table saw. Um, I saw it, um, they only wanted a fiver for it, so um, yeah, so it's got a few dints in it, but uh, it seems alright, so I thought that'd be alright for my table saw. Just put it up there. And the next one I, I was looking, I think I picked up about a week ago, two weeks ago now, um, it was 25 quid they wanted for it and it's a um, a Sealy uh, saw, uh, circular saw blade sharpener and um, I don't know how good they are, I've looked at some at reviews, there it is. I've just mounted it onto a board at the minute um, I won't do a review on it yet because I want to have a have a practice on it and see uh, if it's um, if I can do it. Uh, the person who had it said he couldn't get on with it and this, that, and the other. So, but for 25 quid, I think they're about just over 100, 110, somewhere around there. The seal, it's the C uh, the model number, it's the Sealy model number SMS 2003 saw blade sharpener. Um, uh, blade size as it can do from 90 mil uh, up to 400 so um, yeah uh, I don't know I might um, I don't know, but I'm gonna get to try I'm gonna try I've got some uh, blades that uh, could do with what's it but I'm gonna have a play around with it first and then if it um, if I like it I'll do a video on it and show you how to, how to do it uh, I don't know if anybody out there has got one um, that gave me a few pointers on it but um, I know there's a lot of bad reviews about them blades are cheap enough to buy anyway but even if I can just shorten them a couple of times get a bit more life out on them fair enough and I thought well for that price give it a go uh, so yeah I'm going to have a play around and then uh, we'll see if we can uh, I'll do a video on it uh, the next thing I brought um, it's just from Timu and it's just some little pyramids that you stand your work on when you um, put in the finish on. So it just keeps them off the bench or wherever you're putting it to spray or to var, whichever you do. So yeah, just a pack of them. Uh, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pack of ten. I think I think they were about two pounds on it. That's all. Of Timu, so that's the that's the other purchase I did. So, uh, but yeah, so I've got a couple of projects coming up. I won't tell you what they are. And um, oh, oh, now at kitchen and dining room, uh, all done now. Um, I can get back in and start again, getting some projects done. Um, and another thing I'm thinking of doing this year. Just out the shed, side the shed at the back of me, there's a greenhouse, uh, 8x6 greenhouse. Now I don't use it much now, um, so I'm on about having another shed. So um, I don't know, because my son, he does a lot of, um, what does he do? Yeah, he makes the plastic kits, resin malt thingies on a printer. And... Um, he wanted somewhere to store his equipment and everything so and so we was thinking about having another shed out there 
So um, I might go a bit bigger in this one. I'm not moving out of this one because I like I like my little shed. I like it. I did it in the first place this small because I wanted to show people that you can have a small workshop and still do projects. I know you can't do big projects like tables, chairs, big furniture, but the projects I make, it's ideal size. So um, we were thinking about that for this year, so I don't know if it'll come about or not. So yes, so if it does, that'll be another uh, future project uh, coming up. All I'll put in out of this shed is my thickness planer. That'll probably go in there. And that's about it. Because that when you hook that up in here, it does make a lot of dust and everything. So that'll that'll probably go into there. And I'll do my planing and stuff in, in that shed. So, but um, we shall see. But, yeah, apart from that, uh, nothing else has... More's happened. Like I say, I've not made anything. Like I say, I've been busy decorating. So, um, but yeah. So, like I say, I'll have a go with the the sharpener. Uh, see how I get on. If if I if I can get on with it, I shall make um, a video about it and let you know. So, but uh, right. Thanks for watching. Um, hit that like button. Hit the notification bell. Uh, please subscribe, and I shall see you all on the next video. Bye for now.